Hi everyone, I'm Vicki Murphy. I'm a Geraline specialist with Exvium, which is a platinum solutions partner with Atlassian. And in this video, we'll be discussing a recent announcement Atlassian made regarding some changes coming to Jira Align to help keep up to date with the changes Atlassian is rolling out to the Epic issue type in Jira software. Let's go ahead and first review what some of these changes are going to be. In March of 2023, we're expecting to see Atlassian uh, begin to roll out changes to the out-of-the-box Jira Epic issue type. Um, you can see the high-level list of changes here. If you aren't familiar with these yet, uh, the XVM team has actually put out another video doing a deep dive into all of the changes we expect to see, and that is linked for you in the description of this video. In this video, we're going to discuss really the changes that are going to have an impact on customers who are integrating their Jira software cloud in, uh, uh, instance with Jira Align. And that is primarily just this first point of the updates coming to the Epic uh, name field. I do wanna mention that these updates are specific to the Jira software cloud platform. Let's dig a little bit further into uh, how these updates are going to impact Jira Align. Um, the Epic name field in Jira software is no longer going to be required by the system. If you've worked with Jira software on any of the platform options, you are probably familiar with working with the Epic issue type and that it has a summary field and an Epic name field. Historically, that Epic name field has been required by the system and has been referenced in several visualizations across Jira software. Moving forward, um, Atlassian is going to more prioritize the summary field on Jira Epics, um, and the Epic name field is no longer going to be required. Because it is not required to make a Jira Epic anymore, um, it is no longer going to be required that we sync that field to Jira Align. Some of the updates that we can expect to see in Jira Align, and these will be rolling out two instances of Jira Align on March 1st, 2023. Um, these updates include a little bit of naming uh, uh, updates. So currently, uh, there is a feature name custom field mapping in the administrative section on the Jira setup tab. This is going to be updated to be the Jira Epic name custom field mapping. Um, again, we're going to see that name change on the user interface side. So on the details panel of our features, what used to be the summary field is now going to be renamed as the Jira Epic name field, just making it even more clear to both administrators and end users what that field is syncing to in Jira software. In Jira Align, the Jira Epic name field will now be optional on those feature details panels. And finally, how this field actually maps between the systems is going to be updated. And that is what we are going to dig into next. Currently in uh, the two systems, uh, we have four fields we're really working with. So in Jira Software Cloud, we of course have our summary and our epic name field. In Jira Align, we have a title field and a summary field as of today. These uh, uh, four fields actually sync in a bit of a cross pattern here. So our summary field in Jira Software Cloud syncs to the summary field in Jira Align, and the uh, Jira Align title field syncs with the Jira Software Epic name field. This sort of crisscross sync here is why we always recommend to our customers the best practice of um, really putting the same information in these fields uh, because the two title fields don't actually sync up. So you could have users looking at really the name of a feature in Jira Align and the corresponding Jira Software Epic and calling it by two different things, maybe thinking they are two different things because that summary and title field don't sync up today. Looking more into the future state, first, uh, we do have the name change that we talked about, that Jira Align summary field is going to be called Jira Epic Name. And we are going to start syncing that Jira Software Cloud summary field to the Jira Align title field, as well as the Epic Name field in Jira Software to the Jira Epic Name field. Um, this syncing is just going to be a lot more clear for end users. I think it is a lot more of how um, the average user would expect these fields to sync up. So it's really great to see that this is going uh, to be an update here soon. I do recommend that uh, if you're an administrator watching, you do inform your end users of this as they might start to see uh, titles change across the system if they are not putting the same information in uh, the title and the epic name field in the respective tools. 
All right, a couple more notes for any admins who are watching. Uh, first, I highly recommend that you do not mark the JIRA EPIC name field as optional in JIRA line until it is optional in JIRA software. To reiterate, the changes in JIRA line are rolling out before the changes in JIRA software. So once we see that field as optional in JIRA line, it is still going to be required by the system in JIRA software. If users don't fill in that uh, what used to be the summary field will now be the JIRA EPIC name field in JIRA align when creating their features, then the feature will not actually sync over to JIRA software. So do keep an eye out for the JIRA software update. Um, when it is optional in JIRA software, you can make it optional in JIRA align as well. Again, I highly recommend informing your users of these updates. Um, they're going to see some naming changes when it comes to uh, their JIRA Align features, as well as how these fields actually sync up. Again, they may start to see some uh, new titles across the tools if they weren't keeping the data the same in that title and summary and epic name field. Um, any existing field mappings will not be updated or removed with this update. Also, our issues are not going to automatically resync. You can trigger a sync for your uh, JIRA Align instance in the admin settings, or uh, the issues will begin to uh, resync one by one as users update them. And finally, this update is being made outside of the normal JIRA Align uh, release cycle, so you are not going to see a version update on your JIRA Align instance. Um, we have talked about a lot of changes and uh, it is really a, a great idea to try and stay up to date with uh, any of these future changes. So just a couple resources for you and we'll put any applicable links in the uh, description of this video as well. Um, subscribing to the JIRA Software Cloud Updates is a great way to stay up to date with any of those changes coming to the JIRA Software uh, uh, Epic issue type. Um, also, reviewing any of the articles linked in the description about these announcements is a great place to start. And finally, you can always follow XBM's channel here. Uh, we like to put out these update videos anytime we see something that is going to impact users of really any tool in the Atlassian ecosystem. So we like to keep you uh, up to date with us as well. That is all for this video. Thank you very much for watching.